Hey everybody, and welcome to Civilization 5. Uh, so we have finally done it. If you follow my channel, I've, I've started with Civ 1 uh, several months ago, and we've we've made our way through uh, 2, 3, and 4, and now we're here at 5, uh, kind of seeing the, the evolution of the series as it goes. And, and with Civ 5, it is a big jump uh, from, from, five, from 4 to 5. Uh, quite a bit different of a game, I would say. Uh, a much bigger focus on on military and placing your units, your individual units, rather than just throwing out your stacks of doom. You have to manage them a bit differently. Um, I was toying around here. I think what I'm going to do for my game, I'll stick with, with Elizabeth. That's kind of what I know best. Uh, mainly because of the Longbowmen. Longbowmen are my, are my friends. And uh, I like the range of them. And it works out pretty well. By the time I'm ready to really start conquering things, I'm about at the Longbowman stage. So they seem to work out well for me. And uh, the Ship of the Line enablement is quite nice if I manage to get iron, which is always a curse of mine. For the map type, though, um, I've been debating what I want to do for this. Sandstorm is kind of cool. And British Isles, that would be interesting. Uh, what do we have in here? Do the Americas, Archipelago. The only problem with small islands is the computer is so dumb with islands. Um, Pangea Rainforest. Completely covered in jungle. Terra is something. Just tiny islands. You know what we could do? We could just do random. Yeah. Give me random. Throw whatever you want at me. And... I kind of want to go tiny. Only, only going to be four of us. It's going to be too small. I don't want to go too big because I don't have the newest of computers and then the game would end up being... The game starts really lagging as you get high into the ages, so... I think I'm going to stick with small, or I'll stick with tiny for this. And we're going to go with Emperor. I'm comfortable with Emperor. Well, I'm not comfortable. I'm Emperor is a stretch for me, but that's how I like playing, where it, the odds of winning are, are not certain. Um, I don't know if I've actually ever beaten the game on Emperor. I never were really complete games. I've done King, but I don't think I've ever completed Emperor before. So it might be interesting to, to try it out. And uh, Standard Pace, I think, is fine. But, uh, yeah, let's do this. Advance it up. Anything in here we need to change? I don't think so. We could bump up a couple more city-states. Just to make it fill in a little bit of the, the folks in here. We'll do that. Uh, we won't go too crazy. And I think everything in here is okay. Um, yeah, that's fine. Well. Anyway, we can change that later if we want to. Uh, okay, so let's do this. So on a tiny map, random, we don't know what we're getting, upon her serene highness, and uh, Queen we're going to hear Gloria. about who Elizabeth is for you a couple seconds. You lead and protect the celebrated maritime nation of England. England is an ancient. So we'll see what we get. So what do we have here? We have silk next to us. We have some deer. And... And I'm tempted to actually move my start. I, I'm not a fan of moving my start. But... that one on, and there's the grid. Um, I'm actually tempted to sit on this hill, because that will be adjacent to a mountain, which will give me an observatory later on, so it'll be a science town. And having a capital as a science town, ain't nothing wrong with that. I still get what I want here. Let's... Here, warrior? You can't go over that, can you? What do you see out here? Okay, I can still get the wine. Um, I could, I could get the silk over here. I think I'm going to do it. We're going to settle here on this hill. Let's do it. I think in the long run it'll be worth it having the 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 mount the adjacent mountain for the, uh, the the science later on. So welcome to London. It's an art warrior out here. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna throw out a scout, and uh, you can go away yields. Not that one. That one. And what about research? We could do some more deer over there. Um, so I need trapping for the deer, which it's always a good idea to focus food, I think, first. Get the food under control to get your city growth, and then work on things like, oh, I won't get calendar for a while. But yeah, we'll do that. We'll do animal, animal husbandry, which leads us into trapping. I think that is, that is an idea. As soon as our scout is built, we will throw out a settler. Anybody 
have some ruins already. I'll let the scout handle that. Well, maybe. We'll see if anyone else is nearby here. If anyone else nearby, we'll let the warrior grab it. We do have a minor sieve, looks like. Who is this? Uh, Kurzil? I don't know how to say that. 30 gold, thanks! First one to meet. That's good. That would be worried if I wasn't the first one to meet them just yet. Scout is here. What size is my town? What size are you? You are one still waiting. Three turns will be built. Um, I can't do that. You said. Well, we will. Uh, oi, 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 fine. I right, go scout up. Go grab this. Ruin. Oh, are we on an island? We're on some sort of peninsula here. You will head there, and you will head. There's some gold in the hills. Run over this way. Let's see what we got on our island here. Go there. Oh, nice. We got some people. Um, yeah, we'll stick with the monument. I'm okay with that. That could be useful. It's always a debate. Do I want to do the monument first, or the or the settler first? My my biggest issue. Oh, we met the Iroquois. Hey there. How are you? I didn't want to meet you just yet. Really? Exactly. Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm not alone. Not alone on this island, anyways. Bow shout. All right. I will take some trapping. this way, and are you moving still? Go over there. Oh, Songhai is also. I get the Askia Songhai. We've met two of the three sieves out in the world. Hmm. Alright, head up there. There's some stone in here, which would be a nice spot for a town. I don't know, that desert not is too, not that pretty. Hanoi is here. They gave me 15 gold. Thanks, Hanoi. Who's being protected by the Iroquois. We'll head over this way. So some of the big differences, um, another big difference, obviously, is the, the minor sieves. That's another thing that Civ 5 has going for it. Ugh. That's new on this one. Which is an interesting, interesting add-on to the game. I kind of wish. I'm, I'm hoping, uh, Civ Six, whenever that gets announced, done, uh, brings in a bit more detail to the minor civs. Right now, they're kind of nothing. Kind of a, more of a nuisance. Uh, I kind of like the way that something like Galactic Civilizations Three does their minor civs. Camera would be money, but we need to get, we need to settle quick, because we are crammed in here. So that is going to be the thing to do. And we could... Uh, do I want to do that? Yeah, I do want to do it. Nice. Wait, you equipped yourself. Okay. Well, that might, might be okay. If you, don't get, if you don't get dead this turn, that'll be okay. As soon as the settler comes out, where is he going to go? And in fact, can I buy him? The Behringer Crater. Somebody want me to kill them yet? Did I miss something? Do you have a uh no um who else is here? Hanoi, do you have a thing? You want me to kill somebody? Oh, invading your territory. Oh well. Right, someone give me a quest and then I'll go deal with them. Now I probably want to put a town somewhere in here so that my borders will meet up and maybe I can keep this claimed. I want to sort of segregate this area. The thing, the thing to do. Uh, let's see, what do we have over here? So I already have silk. I have wine. Stone would be a nice thing. That would be a nice town over here. Um, oh man, with the wheat. Where's my grid? Uh, there we go. I can put one on the trees here. This will give me the horses. And the stone. 
I need to rush iron, I think. Um, or find, find iron. And, uh, since this is just a small map, make sure that I, I get it under, under my control. And the first one to be Melbourne. Alright. We'll continue that way. Alright, we have a policy. What do we want to do first? Uh, we will be a small empire, so tradition might be the way to go. Um... The extra culture from, from the Liberty Tree is nice. Um, honor eventually, just, just from getting killing barbarians. The Which may not be an issue, though. This is just a, that's a tiny map. Actually, it is a tiny map. Uh, I may not get that big of a bonus. There may not be barbarians around for that long. Let's go ahead and just take tradition. Let's not go barging into their territory, I guess. Let's look and see how much that settler costs to buy. Even we now have trapping. Are we not? Um, I don't need to buy anything just yet. Mm, I don't think so just yet. I'll be okay without without that for now. Uh, but I don't want to. How much do you cost? You're a lot of money. I can't buy you just yet. All right, all right, all right. All right, so next. Uh, mining might be something nice. Uh, granaries, though. And a shrine to get some faith. Yeah, let's do a pottery. Orders, A. What's over here? More barbarians, biggie. We'll just keep on exploring our boundaries here, as they are doing as well. Check everything out. So they're going to be a problem. That'll be my first problem, I think. Is there nobody? Is there really nobody down here? There has to be. We have. We don't know where. Who was the other guy we met? The Iroquois? I don't know where they are yet. Right now this looks empty. Surely not. Uh, Embassy will give me... One gold per turn. Um, that's kind of small. Is that all you got? Is that all you have? I think I can get two of it. No. I will take a gold per turn. I'll take 30 gold. Good with that. Sure. Okay, you know where I am. You already know where I where I am. Right, let's check out this side. Here's Manila. Who I'm not the first one to meet that much. I think I saw a scout over here, didn't I? Okay. Air core protecting who? Are you protecting Melbourne. Let's take a look at London real quick. London. We're gonna focus on food as much as we can. Like, there's not gonna anything we can not anything we can do about it at the moment, but we will put our focus on food. And eventually use that. It's okay for now though. We will get a worker though. I could steal a worker, maybe. Who do I want to steal from? Alright. Um Now I could grab the Liberty Tree just to get the culture. Hmm. Let's go. Let's go ahead and grab the Liberty as well. Yeah. That will help keep us up to date with our culture. Help our cities, help our borders grow. Which should uh, help keep some of the other empires at bay. Maybe we can get ourselves a, a, a boundary set up early on. 
Where's the southern tip look like? I didn't run this way. Um, can we? He's too far away. My favorite part of Civ Five is the. I don't want to smile very much. Um, the cities being able to defend to themselves to without having to have a, you know, like a warrior that's around for five thousand years in your capital. Turn up this way. Oh, there we go. There's that tip. What's next? After pottery, we could grab mining. I don't think. Um, I don't know if archery is going to be that important just yet. I don't think we're going to be going to war just yet. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the mining. I guess the horse is grabbed already. I need to get a settler out here. Or how much longer? Two turns. Hurry up, buddy. Okay. This way, we have a camp. Songhai is making some friends with the uh, the the miners. That's okay though. Go for it. I should probably wait till someone wants me to kill them before I do that. All right, settlers out. Um, we don't want to go. I don't have a need to defend him. All right. Please don't die. I think. I really want to build a worker, but is the granary going to be the bigger? Which one will be help out immediately? A granary would be nice. I'm going to throw a granary out. I might be able to steal a worker soon, and if I can do that, then that, that would be okay. You know what? Just forget it. Who cares about them? Oh, I'm going go that way. Uh, easy does it. Easy does it. Alright. There's a miner here. Maybe we have a... Maybe they'll have a, a worker for us to take. So we have a settler there, too. So we need to make sure we gotta get this first. I think I right there. I think I went that one. I'll have to take a look at the... The, uh... Resource thing. Yeah, look at all the food in there. Um, that might be a little bit close. Maybe and that river would be nice. Build it there. I don't know if that's a good idea. Maybe. Um, and I could put one here. I could put two of them in, actually. If I put one over here on this wheat, I wouldn't get a coastal city. Do I need the coastal city? It would be on the river, which would be good in the long run. Plus, I'd get the stone and the cows and the horses. That might be quite nice. We'll check out and see if there's any fish or anything up here. This is a long ways to walk for a settler by himself, though, so let's... No way. This is clear. We're dangerously cruising out here in barbarian-infested lands. Let me mining. Let's let him do his thing first. Okay, it looks clear. There's only one little spot where they could be. Yeah, Alright, we're good. Alright, what is next? Um, I don't see any fish adjacent here. I could grab the writing so we can get the libraries out quickly. Might be a good idea. Bronze working reveals iron, though. I think I want to do that first, so I can figure out where the iron is at. That might be more important. Oh, there they are. Oh, you know what? Just hang out there. Do I have barbarians around here? Over the mountain. Those arrows are going over the mountain. Amazing. Man, what is the better place? Oh, well... I guess I can still reach him if I'm here. Um, maybe I should put it there. That might be a better idea. I don't want to be too close to them. I would get swallowed by their culture if I get too close. 
We got all the floodplain. This would be a quick, this would be a nice city, I think. Let's do it there. You go there. You build it. I think that's what I want to do. We'll see. I'm we're still thinking. Still thinking. Out <laughs> of the policy. We do that one for the building bonus. This one we get a free worker, which could be nice. Um, yeah, let's do that. Get our worker out there. And uh, so we can start doing something productive around our towns. So we, we have not been. Worker number one. I want you to go to the deer first. Alright, we have to figure this out. Do I need benefit? I mean, putting it here actually may not be that, the worst idea. That's what the game wants to, which kind of worries me. They might beat me to this. If I can come in here and just buy these quickly, I might be okay. I forget Civ Five. There is no culture. I've been playing all the older Civs. There's no culture stealing. Once you buy the tile, you're good. So maybe that is okay if I put it there or even there. Do I need the coastal city that badly? Um. This desert is terrible. So I don't really need that. I think I'm going to do it on the wheat. I don't know. No, we're going to do it here. This is fine. We can still reach the fish and the whales. And we can get... Yeah, we're going to do it right here. Alright. After many years of thinking, York has now been built. And York is going to build me a... All right, well, that's the end of the first episode. First, actually, we're going to buy that one. And, oh, I can't buy it yet. All right, we will get that one quickly. Very quickly get that one. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's the end of this first episode. So, um, as with all uh, first episodes, I really appreciate a like uh, on the video. It helps out big time with the search results. And, uh, as always, um, subscribe if... That is your thing, and I should have new videos out about every other day on this series. So anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.